Hello friends, so I made a bit of an update to my Habit Tracker, uh, which is primarily in my daily page. So I'm just going to walk you through the changes that I made, as well as we will go ahead and add my last habit part of the system so that I, you can see exactly how to do it if you did want to try this for yourself. So previously, you may recall that I had my habits lined up here as emojis right and that was working fine so my workflow would essentially be on at the end of the day i would click on each of these and give it a number right either one or zero now while that was working fine as i said um as I'm getting through more of my course and I'm almost finishing up the bulk of it, um, I did a deep dive into Tana commands and I was like, ooh, it would be really nice if the commands for my habits or if my habits were commands on the day node, right? I didn't particularly want to create a whole new super tag just for habits because I already like that it's tied directly to the day node. So what I did was I, well, let me show you how it works first. So these are the Tana command buttons. And if I go to my 2024 compass, I have this table here that, which is where, well, this list, which is where I keep track of my habits as the months go by for the year. So I'm going to open this up in a new panel and, uh, just close this up a bit so that you can have a better view of what's happening on the right of my screen. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. So this table, as you can see, it's just the days of the month, and I have columns for each of the fields that are the habits that I would have checked off, well not checked off, but which I would have been putting either a one for done or a zero for not done. But in this new system, I kind of just have uh, commands that uh, um, auto add this one to the field uh, for each of the habits. And then if it's not, if I don't, if I didn't do the, the, the task or the habit, then I just leave it as blank, right? So I don't put the zero anymore. And at the end, I'll be able to see this sum uh, for each of my habits, um, just so I can then add that to my overall yearly habits um, table and see how I'm progressing as the year goes by. So, uh, for example, if it, let's say it's the end of today, it's not the end of today, but let's say it is, I would click on, and if I did exercise today, I would click exercise. Um, so you see here that it updated one in the exercise column. Uh, if it is uh, that I flossed, then you'll see the other one there. And let's say that I read and the one comes up here. So that is essentially how it works. Um, now it's not the end of the day, so I'm just going to remove those. And what we're going to do is uh, create uh, the command for the writing. So as you can see, writing is blank so far. Um, I do have a record of the days that I actually did write for the year so far, but I wanted to show you so that you can have an idea of how to do it for yourself. So what we're going to be doing is creating the writing command and it's going to show up right here next to the little book emoji. So open up the command line and I'm going to do command convert to command node. I will give the new command node a title, which would be this emoji, the handwriting emoji. Then I'm going to type uh, at and select set field values. I'm going to add the configuration, which is the field that I want Tana to fill out for me. Uh, so the field is uh, the writing field. So I can go ahead and type it in. And I know that this is the correct field. Let me just scroll down a bit so you can see. I know that this is the correct field because it says indie and I've completed it 34 times. So 
I have the correct field and now I'm going to um, input the value that I want for this field when I press the button and in this case it will be one. I'm going to close my configuration and uh, collapse this as well. Um, next all that's really left for me to do is uh, add this to my day tag. So I'm going to go to my super tag configuration scroll to the end and uh, under advanced you will see that I have all of the commands that I've added so I'm going to click enter and uh, I will just at reference this um, I could scroll to the bottom and I can see it here so now you see that it has appeared up in the day tag I'm going to close down the super tag configuration panel and uh, let's see if it works. So again, I'm going to come here and I'm going to open up this in another panel. Uh, collapse this. And now if I click, so I'm here at Saturday and I'm on right. If I press this button, a one should appear there, which it does. Yay. <laughs> okay, the things that excite me. Anyway, so that is how it works. Now, there were many of things that I could have done um, instead of this, but I chose to do this. And I did it this way for a few reasons, but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but essentially, this is what I'm working with. Uh, it, Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so... Yes, let me know what you guys think and how are you tracking, tracking habits inside of Tana.